and improved. New and improved. That's us. What a uh, what a little update we have uh, put together. It's not just an update like we usually do. We have revamped the site. Uh, by the way, I don't know if you're going to be keeping a monetary tally this week on there's first. A, there's a quarter not. anyway. I know that. I could do a nickel. I could do a nickel for charity. Appa- donation. I think. Apparently, uh, on WrestleCrapRadio.com, they tallied it up. They tallied yeah. it up, yo, seven dollars to the swear jar from last week. No, oh, that's a lot of fucking money. Mm. Well, there's, there's another. There's fifty cents now. <clears throat> we were tired of uh, of always being upstaged by all these other wrestling websites that yeah. break the news. Thanks to the fine folks at the Trolla Corporation. Oh, God bless. God bless Chris Engler, head of the Troll Corporation. We have it. We have it now. We got the Li-Fi scanner, courtesy of the Troll Corporation. Goes oh. out and gets... Get this. Get this. This is like the most brilliant thing ever. First of all, it's super high-tech. It runs at 2400 baud. I don't know if you noticed that or not. It scans the entire internet all day long for wrestling news. <laughs> And it verifies it. It has to verify it. Okay? It has to verify it as being factual. There it goes. Boom. Pops it right up there. Pops it right up there. So you have a reason to come back and look at WrestleCraft.com every day. Not just every day. You need to come back. You need to be here like every, I would say, you know, like every hour, probably, the rest of your lives. Uh, look at this. I bet. I bet that. I bet that uh, Dave Meltzer hasn't talked about that. I bet Wade Keller hasn't talked about this yet. Did What's you that? see this Far- farmer's daughter? Remember her from Glow? She has a shocking confession. Yeah. It says Dad was a chemist. <laughs> oh man. Then, then, then. Once we get this news, we have somebody go out. They confirm it, and then each week we're going to have somebody writing feature-length stories about some of these items. Oh. Mm Mm-hmm. This week, did you see this week's debut? Yes, I did. About Matt Hardy main event in WrestleMania? Dave Mel, I didn't see that on, on, uh, in this week's Observer. You will next week. Oh, boy. And that would be... We lost another one of ours. That's right. Of the longest reigning teenage... <coughs> that's that's uh. not you. That's not you clapping. Uh, uh, uh. That was not me <laughs> clapping. It was that guy <laughs> spanking it. <laughs> We lost the longest uh, reigning TNA correspondent of all time, C.S. Irwin. God bless that man. He's no longer with us. Yeah. The the ratings reaper swept in and killed him and removed him from our show. Well, I did mention at the beginning of last week's program that we were trying to increase listenership. You know what? I'm starting to worry that the ratings reaper has kind of become like a serial killer. I know I noted he was a insanely jealous of Satan having a regular role on the show now. He remember how mad he got when I said he kind of sounded like Satan. <laughs> okay, so not only this, not only did he kill C.S. Irwin, he has killed NXT recently. He has killed TNA Reaction. He has killed. ROH on HD net. Yes. Come on now. Sorry. Smackdown's on its way, I'm telling you. It's on the Reaper's hit list. Anyway, C.S. Irwin and his witty one-liners are now a thing of the past, much he, like Nathaniel and all the troller Mega bot. Troller. Remember Mega Troller? Yep. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Remember Johnny, uh, what was that one? Johnny 3 or something? No, fuck. Johnny 4. Johnny 4. I mean, that was, that was no old. good. That was, it was Johnny 6. Yeah, that, that was, uh... 
A lot of, lot of good folk. Mike Check. Mike Check, who didn't die. Unfortunately. Because it, a lot of Davis people were die. very upset when Mike Check showed up last week. Anyway, a moment of silence. C.S. Irwin. But, you know, dry those eyes because, you know, the, the, the show will go on like it has before after we've lost so many teenage correspondents. Obla dee, obla da, life goes on. Yeah. And it will go on because I have found a new TNA correspondent to take C.S. Irwin's place. You already found him. He happens to be my mailman. <sighs> down, down, down. <laughs> You know what was fascinating? What's that? This week, before we recorded this here radio program, yeah. I was actually at the food mart. Oh, really? That's so amazing. this is a two-hour tape delay of Arnie's trip to the grocery. You should see everyone here at Russell Crap HQ. They're all looking at each other. The crickets are yeah. looking at Mama. Mama is looking at R.J. Fletcher. All I wanted to talk about was how I found that, that Meyer, they, or they had started stocking Bark's Red Cream Soda. Dustin Diamond's back in the news. Oh, Remember him? He was Screech on Saved by the Bell. <laughs> is accepting wrestling bookings. Tori Wilson is now selling Diva Trim. Yes. <laughs> I don't think RJ understands that's not a joke. Oh, man, I love it. Anyway, she's got a website for this new product deal. Should I go look at this? Should yeah, we all go look at it together? Divatrim.net. Diva Trim is proud to... Uh... Introduce you to a fantastic new supplemental fat burner targeted to women. A woman who has tried them all. She's tried all the drugs, kids! She worked diligently with the manufacturers to get exactly what she wanted. Mm -hmm. I just envision her being in like a lab coat with like a yes with like beakers are busting. And she could be sitting there going, okay, you know, the uh, licorice root, not quite enough of that. Trish is back in the news. Her movie is, 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 is about ready to come out deal, mm -hmm. Bail Enforcers. Search for sneak peek of Bail Enforcers. Uh-oh, she's got a trash can lid. She thinks she's Captain Canada. Russell Crap Radio. This is BM Punk. Yeah. You try to hold me down, you try to keep me out of this show. Good night, kids! <laughs> Question of the week this week comes from our old buddy, our old pal, Ultimate Kennedy. Dear RD and Blade, why are the fans calling Vicky Guerrero a cougar? Are we hoping that a tiger eats her? Thank you and have a nice day. I always thought she was hot. Mm -hmm. Well, you'd think she is very hot now. Current wrestling news time here, kids. Randy Savage, apparently back in WWE's good graces. They, oh. uh, he, he has appeared as, as a, in a, doing promos for the new WWE All-Stars game. WrestleCrap Radio. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. How about this? Haven't heard from him in a while. What's this I hear about Randy Savage being in a new video game? I guess he's, he's going to be in a new video game. You heard you correctly. Do you guys remember Randy Savage's first video game on the Nintendo? I said Nintendo! Uh, no, I do not remember Randy Savage's first game. Was it, uh, Rage in the Cage? 
It was WrestleMania by LJN on the Nintendo. What's wrong with you? What is wrong with me? Rage in the Cage was on Sega CD. I apologize, Nintendo John. I don't know nothing about Sega. Sorry. Do you remember the game on Nintendo? Uh, yeah, I, I do. I kind of wish I didn't. It only had three ropes. Well, they, they didn't have a lot of graphic technology back then. They didn't body slam. As a matter of fact, when you went to body slam somebody, it looked like you were throwing them around like you were the, the Boston Strangler. <laughs> you know a lot about that, you being from uh, Massachusetts and all. I want to thank everybody for not uh, pumping for the Boston Strangler. But I'm not trying to talk about Syria, because... Wait, wait, wait a second. I forgot about a game on the Nintendo. Did you guys ever play? The, the you crowd just ever, loves you. Did you guys ever play Tag Team Wrestling by Data East on the Nintendo? Yeah, I did. That, that game was even worse than WrestleMania. You lie! Ricky Fighters and Strong Bads duking it out on the Nintendo, overcoming the odds. Now Nintendo John's gotta know one thing. Okay. Will this new game be on the Nintendo? Uh, yes, in fact it is. Uh, I, I think. I, I guess I could go look that up. I'm not buying a PlayStation. I never played an Xbox. It is going to be on the Wii, yes. I haven't bought anything stronger than an 8-bit system. <laughs> but I might buy one to play with Man Macho Man on the Nintendo. So, so a Wii is acceptable. Because it's by Nintendo. I just want to make sure we're following along. It is. Okay. Did you ever have a Virtual Boy? Did I ever play Virtual Boy from Nintendo? Yes, yes, that, that was my question. I played it one time. Mm -hmm. It gave me such seizure-inducing headaches. I felt like I was getting strobe flashes like I was robbed playing Gerald Mine or stacked up on the Nintendo. A Rob the Robot reference. Dave Meltzer not talking about Rob the Robot this week. I can promise you that. Now, nah, if you excuse me, I gotta go play muscle wrestling on the Nintendo. Oh, man. Oh. Well, it is always a treat when uh, Nintendo John shows up, I guess. <clears throat> also, since you didn't watch Raw this week, as we discussed earlier, huge yeah. news. They're yeah. going to change the Royal Rumble. Forty Man Rumble. Wrestling bores me so much now. I'll need a 40.